So the Grade 1 Punches Down Chase will bring day two to a close. Two and a half miles again. Enzo Zaccaro at the top four. Darren Thompson, Hard Hysteria, Leon van Rensburg, Presque Flay, David Robertson, Prototype, Daniel French, Seven Towers, Martin Leadham, Signpost, Greg Beckwith, The Mighty Joshua Sutherland, World Party, David Hooley, Light Together, David Robertson, Music World, David Hooley, and what a deal for Craig Beckwith, a field of 11 in this final race on day two of five and they're heading towards the first of the 13 fences that they've got to take in this one and they're all safely over it week six next week we will have to wait five obviously and then there'll be a two week break then for Christmas and New Year and they get into the second and I think something was well, yeah, light together when I thought something had gone there and it was light together Got rid of the jockey for David Robertson, but it's prototype who's got the lead. My good four to five lengths. What a deal is seconds. Enzo Zancaro is third, then Seven Towers on the inside is fourth, then the Mighty Music World Signpost is after that, then Presque Flay and World Party Hard Hysteria is currently the back marker as they get to the third, which they all successfully negotiate. The rain coming down and those are proper little ponds, they're not puddles, and it's prototype in front. As we come up, that's the big punches town side. And prototypes in front. On what a deal in second. Enzo Zancaro is third. Signpost wider on the track is fourth. Then the mighty and presque flame music world is after that one. Then World Party Seven Towers and Hard History. The leader made a bit of a mess of that one. Got away with it. Continues to lead by four. See, what a deal. He's been a good servant for Craig Beckwith in second. Enzo Zancaro is third, then the mighty. They get into the next, which they again all got over okay. Music will just the back marker. Or David Hooley. And it's prototype in front. Well clear of Enzo Zancaro and the mighty as they take number six. Which again, they're all over okay. The grey presque flow was a little bit ponderous over it, but nothing to be too alarmed about. Into this ditch, prototype leads them. All safely over it with heart hysteria now, relegated to the back again. Prototype's in front. Enzo Zancaro second. What a deal, third, seven towers on the inside. He's fourth in the Mighty and World Party signpost. He's covered up in Presque Flay and Wider Skill is Music World Heart Hysteria. He's going to look for a dream one up the inside. And they're coming down towards the final mile already as they take this eighth of the 13, which they all get over okay. And Prototype continues to lead by three to Enzo Zancaro in second. The Mighty's third. Water Deal is fourth. Presque Flay the Grey is creeping closer. The David Hooley pair are running together wide on the track. Music World and World Party. Over the night they go. The leader was slow and he's now only a length clear. They're queuing up behind to take him on. It looks like the Mighty's going to be the first one to come through to dispute the leader as they get into number 10. This is the fourth from home. And on the wide outside, Music World jumped into the lead. So Music World's taking it up then from the mighty but what a deal is being driven between that one and Enzo Zancaro prototype is just dropping away into fifth then there's a gap to the rest of them were headed by seven towers but it's Music World who's got the lead from the mighty prototype is coming back for more than Enzo Zancaro and what a deal these five are going to run into the third last with a lead of about three lengths over the chasing pack as they get into it it's Music World and landed in the lead but the mighty jumped it better and come away, came away from it in front it's the mighty in front Music World on the outside prototype still there on the inside, Enzo Zancaro, what a deal is next, now trying to run on his world party over the final ditch, the second last and there's about six in a, with a chance here now, it's the mighty who's just in front from Music World in second now on the wide outside, world party is coming through the challenge, they've only got one to take and it's the mighty in front, the mighty being challenged by Music World and world party, these three are clear and the rest of them can't see anything else getting into it, although hard hysteria is making ground, they've still got two furlongs to go, they're coming towards the final fence, and on 
on this near side is the mighty, the hooly pair on the far side. World party and music world over the final fence they go. And it's the mighty who just landed in front, but now look at this hard exterior. He's flying down the centre of the track. It's the mighty world party, hard exterior. And so Zinkara is trying to get into it, but the mighty's battling away. And he's repelling Raiders at the moment. The mighty's hanging on. Here comes hard exterior, the mighty and hard exterior. It's the mighty and hard exterior. Flashbacks, they're both together. What more could we ask for for a week of racing the top two trainers battling out in a photo finish in the final race of the day? And I'm not sure which one's won. I am not sure which one's won. The mighty looks like it's all on the angles deceptive. It's going to be close, this. It's a short head win for the mighty and Joshua Sutherland. Hard hysteria second for Leon Van Rensburg. Enzo Zancaro for Darren Thompson was back in third. Music World David Hooley fourth. And World Party for David Hooley again was fifth. And we'll be back tomorrow for the final race day of the week.